Revolution Golfer is Martin Chuck here, and I'm with my assistant Mike Crea. What's up, buddy? Nothing. Just wrapped up a three-day golf school at the Raven. Had some great folks in, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, it was fantastic. Had That's a lot, cool. lot of fun. So this thing it comes up every single week. So let's talk about where people get to in their backswing on the way down. You know, we always get everybody's fighting this over the top behavior. And then when the club gets over the top, naturally you have to recover and go the other way to get a playable shot, right? Mm -hmm. So show the Revolution golfers, pull up a golf ball and get it centered up on the golfer's toolbox here. And at the golf school, we use the golfer's toolbox exclusively pretty much because it helps just with where you're aiming and where the ball location is. And as a coach, we have no questions from that. And it helps the student kind of train their eyes and train you know, their alignment. So take it back, we use in golf nerd speak, Revolution Golfers, we use these positions. P1 is address. P2 is when the club's parallel to the ground for the first time. P3, the left arm's parallel to the ground. P4 is wherever your physiology can take you to the top of your backswing. P5 is when the club's parallel to the ground for the last time. And I know you're thinking, Martin, that's too much to think about. But as coaches, we like to kind of know when we're talking to other coaches, you know, where is so-and-so at a certain position? So. This is what I want to talk to you about today. We always see this golfers kind of overdo this behavior where they, you know, they basically cup that lead wrist and they kind of sort of half flatten that right wrist. And then when you go to hit it hard, the club gets way too vertical. The club faces, you, you, you try to shut it early, then you got to open it late. So a simple drill for you guys out there, Revolution Golfers. So go back, go back pro to take them up to, to the left arm parallel position. Okay, good. So they're in the, you're in this nice position. So the feeling from here is if I just kind of hold your forearm and don't let it work downward, I want to see this left thumb start to ulnar deviate and work down that way. Exactly. Now, you're looking at that as, man, that Martin's teaching us how to cast. You know, you're looking at this and you're going, Martin's teaching us how to cast a golf club here. I'm not teaching you how to cast a golf club because when Mike energizes this, his body's going to start to ignite and rotate pretty hard. And what, we're, what we have here is a club head that's behind the hands. So when he adds any kind of rotation at all, guess what? That club head works inside out. He can't help but hit. He can't help but deliver a club with an inside out delivery, right? Absolutely. Which is what you Revol Revolution Golfers know produces a draw. So Mike, go ahead and hit a little shot out there for the Revolution Golfers. That's a nice strike. So nice little collection of the ball at the bottom with a little forward swing bottom taking a divot fraction ahead of the ball. Good stuff. Now do me a favor. Let's show them a drill for this. Okay. And we had a great gal in from La Rinconiata Golf Club this weekend, okay, which is in Northern California. So go back to the delivery position of P5, which is when the left arm's working its way down. So when the left arm's working its way down, you see how it's not way out this way. It's not super deep this way. It's got a little bit of an attitude inside out to this target line right here. And what we did was we just kind of held her forearms here and asked her to feel this motion of unhinging. One, two, and on the third one I let her release it a little bit and I got out of the way. All right, so whether you hit this good, bad, or indifferent pro, get a feel sure. for where the ball is. Because okay. this wasn't that easy for her either, but it was the, the drill that gave her the meaning on instead of tipping the shaft steep and then having to recover late, this one, two, rotation, the club got behind the hands. So she started hitting her. And we'll make it easy for the Revolution golfers, right? Okay. We're just gonna do this, put it on a little half tee. Awesome, show me. So I'm gonna come right to here. You're gonna unhinge a little bit. One, two, I'm gonna let go on three and hit it. Awesome. So great job there. So let me have the club for a sec, pro. You got it. Revolution Golfers, what I want you to feel is when you get this golf club and you take it back and get in the delivery position, don't be afraid of letting the golf club unhinge a little bit. So there's the one, the two, and when you ignite this rotation, now your hands are ahead, your body's rotating, the club's going to try to catch up and overtake, and that's what's going to give you that inside out strike to hit really crisp, high ball speed shots where the club face compresses the golf ball. So my assistant Mike, Thanks for helping out, pal. Revolution Golfers, excuse the sniffles. Post your questions and comments down below, and I'll get to as many as I can.